Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord This Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of August 2024. I went ahead, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and shuffled the cards and laid them all out in the monthly forecast for you, my dear Libra. We're going to start with your overall energy and then break it down week by week. Your overall energy is the Nine of Cups. Whoa! <laughs> this is the Wish Manifestation card. Something is manifesting for you in the month of August. Could make you quite happy. Just be careful. It's also the card of overindulgence. Don't celebrate too hardy. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is where in the story of the tarot, you know, the Eight of uh, Cups, when somebody is like walking off, they're on a vision quest, they're trying to find some emotional satisfaction because they don't have enough of it where, where they're at right now. They're looking for that emotional fulfillment. Well, this is the, the finding of that. So that's why it's the wish card, because we wished for it when we set out on that journey to go find that uh, emotional happiness. So some of you are finding what you're looking for on the emotional front this month. The week or the month starts off with week one. Queen of Cups in the upright position rooted down by the three of wands. Queen of Cups is Cups are water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of you, this could be somebody external to you. Sometimes we can embody the energies of these uh, royal cards as well. For some of you, the Queen of Cups could be somebody who's caring, loving, nurturing, could be a family member, could be a friend, could be somebody you're dating, could be a spouse. But the Queen of Cups shows great emotional maturity and uh, is somebody that you can talk to about emotional matters because they come across as being very understanding on that front. Um, that's why oftentimes you'll find them in as a vocation. They could be... Uh, counselors, therapists, uh, very caring physicians, that kind of thing. Um, and it's rooted down by the three of wands here in the upright position, which is a very progressive energy. This is where we're moving towards our goals, right? Where we've got the initial ace of wands, and then it goes to the two of wands, progressive, and then it gets to the three of wands until we get to the four of wands. So this could be building um, anything, could be building a business, could be building a career, could be building a home, could be building um, a relationship that is getting more and more solid as the weeks and months go by. So this could be the progression of that for some of you. And in week two, we have Major Arcana Judgment, rooted down by the Three of Pentacles in the upright. Judgment is something from the past, returning. Um, this is something we thought was done and dusted. It could be coming back again. There's going to be a need to make a judgment call. Because just because something returns to your life doesn't mean, you know, we open armed accept it back in. We do have free will and we do have standards, right? So it's like... Okay, just because something is returning, it doesn't mean that we have to accept it with open arms. We can, we have free will, we can say yay or nay, we can say thank you for the closure and just leave it at that. If it's a relationship, it could be a relationship for some of you, for others of you, this could just be uh, anything. It could be a, a hobby from the past that is resurfacing again. It could be a career or a job that you used to do, a company you used to work for. Maybe they're looking to hire again. It could be anything like that, and you're going to have to make that judgment call. For the more spiritually minded, this could represent a spiritual um, aha moment where you have kind of like an awakening, where you see things in a completely different light. So these are general reads. Just take what makes sense in your scenario. Three of Pentacles is here rooting it down. This is really, again, progressive. You have two threes here. You're progressively moving towards something. You're building something, Libra. And the Three of Pentacles represents, it could be you're in a group of three, like maybe um, you work in teams at work or something like that, and there's, a th there's three of you, and you guys are working really well. Everybody appreciates what you're doing. You appreciate what they're doing, everything. This is the master craftsman of being applauded and, um, and recognized. So it's 
it's really nice. Uh, some of you, this could be, like I said, due to a hobby or a career or something that was very prevalent in your life once upon a time, could be resurfacing and uh, you could be looking into that. Now in week three, we have the Seven of Swords reversed, rooted down by Major Arcana, the Devil reversed. Now the Seven of Swords in the upright, this is the little <laughs> scoundrel energy. This is somebody who's trying to uh, avoid the consequences of a dishonorable act when it's in the upright position. This could represent a thief, somebody trying to steal your ideas, steal your identity, steal your belongings. Um, and when it's reversed, this can indicate the thief gets caught. For others of you, this is about avoidance. Um, sometimes the Seven of Swords can simply represent trying to avoid uh, a people, a, a, a person. It could be avoid dealing with a situation or subject matter, dealing with making a decision. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we're finally ready to deal with it head on. This is where we no longer wish to avoid a person, a situation or what have. We want to just deal with that. The devil in reverse, the devil upright, this is Capricorn energy. It can represent um, obsessions, temptations, um, addictions, uh, fear holding you back from accepting new opportunities. In this case, fear holding you back from dealing with a sit situation that you've been avoiding for a very long time. When the devil is reversed, this can indicate we're no longer fearful of this situation. We're d deciding to deal with it head on. So we're overcoming the fear. We're feeling the fear. We're doing it anyway. We're moving past it. Others of you have decided to exercise your strong will and you will not be tempted by something of uh, that's coming around because perhaps you're just like, no, I'm going to deal with this uh, obsession, this temptation or what have you. I'm going to deal with it head on. So it's not going to be a problem going forward. And the last week you have some nice energy. We have the Four of Wands rooted down by the Two of Cups upright. Four of Wands, remember I said back here, Three of Wands at the beginning of the month for you. This is progressive energy. Some of you could um, have now arrived at the end of the month. You've been progressively moving closer and closer to something. So for some of you, if you've been building a relationship, now this could be where you finally decide to uh, make it official. This can indicate a small wedding or it could be an engagement party or something like that where you're finally solidifying something in this relationship. Um, because of the Two of Cups being there, that's why I'm saying relationship. But for others of you, this could represent solidifying a, uh, a career choice or a career decision that you've been building towards for a long time and you're putting the finishing touches on it now. And it looks like it will become something solid, a part of your now and a part of your future. Again, something to celebrate. It could be putting the finishing touches on a home or renovations of a home and you're finally ready for the housewarming party. Now with the Two of Cups being here, rooting it down, indicates a, a connection with another person. Now this could be your significant other, this could be your best friend, this could be somebody you're super close to, soulmate energy. This is somebody who is uh, in agreement with what you're doing. So say this is your spouse and you have decided to solidify a career or a home or something like that. Your spouse is completely in alignment with you on that, on that uh, subject matter. So uh, if it's about solidifying the relationship, the relationship is now becoming a part of something that will be solid in the future going forward, such as in engagement, marriage, that kind of thing. Remember, your whole overall energy is the uh, wish the wish card here. But whatever is going on, whatever you decide to move forward with, it looks like somebody is in alignment with you on that. They're definitely there. They're not opposed to what you're doing or or how you're doing it or anything like that. This is a person. Others of you, perhaps you're meeting somebody who you connect with in a way that you don't connect with with anybody else on earth. And this could be another person whom uh, you're meeting when you're having this victory of the Four of Wands. But remember with the Four of Wands, it asks us to stop and celebrate. We're not at the end of the road yet, but we are at a place where things have now become solid. So when that happens, that's 
that's when we're supposed to celebrate such as say for example you've been dating for a long time you get to the point of marriage so the marriage happens the relationship doesn't end just because the marriage happened that's the beginning of the married life going forward and it is usually something that people celebrate right they celebrate some people have big bashes for their weddings other people have small weddings whatever it is but there is some kind of celebration even if you run off to get married in vegas people usually celebrate that and the four of wands is asking you to celebrate something whether it be the relationship whether it be the trip whether it be the building of a, of a business whatever it is that you're doing the completion of a home they want you to celebrate this it is something to be celebrated here so looks like a pretty good month for you here libra in closing i will be pulling two cards from the zodiac deck one is for love and romance let's see what we have for love and romance libra <laughs> harmony beautiful rose number seven it could be that something special happens when the moon is in libra or on the seventh of the month uh, there could be some great harmony well we already see harmony here with the two of cups it can also be that Libra is the love interest or a Libra introduces you to the love of your life. So let's see for career and finance. What do we have? Aries, number 25, collaboration. Hmm. Doesn't that make sense? Three of Pentacles, it's all about collaborating with other people. And um, Aries could be the person that you're collaborating with or one of the people could also be something special happens when the moon's in Aries or on the 25th of the month with or through an Aries definitely could be Aries full moon or no is it no it's not an Aries full moon it's uh, uh, I don't know when the moon's in Aries in the month of August you can check on the chart if you want to know that part so that's what I have for you I want to thank you so much for joining me I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous month of August. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you're thinking, what you uh, are experiencing, if you're comfortable sharing that. And in the meantime, thanks so much for joining me. Really hope the reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free after all. Just hit that subscribe button and we're good to go. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.